Welcome to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. How do you keep on top of serum calcium during a massive transfusion? Massive transfusion of blood products is arbitrarily considered 10 units of packed red blood cells within 24 hours. Other definitions include the replacement of more than total blood volume in 24 hours or 50% of total blood volume in 4 hours. The large amount of citrate in blood products is usually metabolized by the liver, but in massive transfusion or in the setting of hepatic insufficiency, unmetabolized citrate may chelate ionized calcium. This can lead to paresthesias or cardiac arrhythmias in addition to coagulopathy. Adequate calcium is necessary for coagulation to occur. Calcium is actually clotting factor 4. Although the level of calcium needs to be extremely low to adversely affect coagulation, most massive transfusion protocols suggest keeping the free calcium in the normal range of about 4 MEQs per liter. Because of the risk of hypercalcemia, I don't give calcium supplementation unless the level is known to be low or signs of hypocalcemia such as EKG changes are present. To stay on top of changes in calcium levels, it may need to be checked as frequently as every 30 to 60 minutes during massive transfusion. A blood gas or point-of-care testing device may be the most effective way of doing this. You can get my six tips for pharmacists responding to codes in my free download area at pharmacyjoe.com free. It's download number 16 on the list.